So today I have two sewing makes to share with you. It is actually a complete outfit. So let me tell you what the patterns are. So I made a pair of leggings and they are McCall 6404. This is an older pattern. I've had it for a long time. I made view C. What I really liked about view C, well actually all of the views to me have a way where you can use scraps but view C to me which you when you see the line drawing you can see how there are a lot of different pieces that actually go together to make the leggings and I had a whole bunch of knit scraps so I thought okay I think I can get these leggings made out of the scraps that I have so that's what I did and I really like the way that it turned out so the only thing that I did different is I used a half inch elastic instead of a one inch elastic to go in the band area and I only did that because I had a half inch elastic in, on hand. I didn't have one inch at the time. I kind of wish, well I do wish that I had one inch because I think it would have looked a little bit better but it's okay. It still works especially since it was just a scrap project so it worked out fine for that. So this pattern is very easy I must say you just put all the little scraps together and then in the end you have a finished product and it's it's really cool so I really like the way it turned out now the top that I made is actually a PDF pattern so I had to print it out and you know tape it all together and I made the Lago tank I think that's how you say it the Lago tank by itch to stitch and this was another pattern that was really easy to put together. Oh, I actually have the top here with me because I used a knit that kind of looks like faux leather and I purchased it from Joanne Fabrics if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't remember because I forgot to put that in my notes. But it has this kind of look to it that looks a little bit like faux leather, but it's not. And it's not very, very stretchy but I was able to still make the tank and get it on. Now, one thing that I did different with this is, if you can see the inside fabric is a little different color. It's a little bit lighter and then the outside is darker. Well, what I decided to do for the neckband is I used the inside around the neckband just to kind of give it a little contrast on the neckband area. And the other thing is, the pattern wants you or it calls for you to use the armbands just like the neckband you would use an armband on the armhole area but I just chose to do a narrow hem instead I didn't want to put the armband on so that's the only change and let me make sure okay the other thing that I did was I took in the sides because the size that I cut to me was a little bit baggy. So I decided to go ahead and just take the sides in a little bit more to make it fit a little more snug. And the other thing is the back of the top goes in a little bit. It will look best with a racer back bra if you don't want your bra straps to show. So yes, those are the only two makes that I have in this video. And I will go ahead and show you what they look like now. Okay, so now I actually wore this outfit somewhere and I went and did something that I have never done before and I want to share the experience with you. So if you're interested, just come along with me and see what I got into. So 
I am so excited. I feel like I say that all the time, but I am. So today we got out of the house and we took a little road trip. We went to Big Bear and I am excited to share some of the adventures that we have in store today. Big Bear Lake is really up in the mountains and I was thinking that it was gonna be cold and it's actually pretty warm. So right now we are at this place called Teddy Bear Restaurant. Let me see if I can get it behind me. So we're at Teddy Bear Restaurant. I think Teddy Bear Restaurant is over there. So anyway, we put our name on the list and we are waiting so that we can eat. And I am just ready to have a good time and share it with you guys. All right, I will see you as we change our point of view and do different things. So now that we're done eating, the place that I wanted to go was the sweet shop. So I wanna see what they have in here. So let's go check it out. Let's go in here. Okay, so next we are going to go zip lining, which I am again excited about. I have never been zip lining and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to try my best to get some video so that I can share the experience with you. I will also have a follow up to tell you what I think or what I thought about the whole zip lining experience. Okay, so we have arrived. Let's, let me show you what's over here. We're waiting to get to our next spot. This is what's taking us to our adventure. Just kidding. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> do I hold do I hold both? Yeah, you can hold both. All you're gonna do is step down the steps, get to the ramp, and get low like you're sitting in a chair and go for it. Right now? One or more one step. more? Okay. One more. And then just get low and then walk on up. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Woo! Alright, good job. I did it! Oh wait, okay. Right, grab onto the cable. What's the cable? That cable or one you're riding on. Oh, okay. There you go. Just gives you something to hold on to. Okay, okay. You know, kind of pull yourself up. There you go. Let go. Job. Whoa. I got you, I got you. Okay, now what do I do? Come on down. Okay. I'll <laughs> <laughs> put this in your side. Okay. And you can walk across the bridge. Okay, thank you. It was very thrilling 
and a little bit scary but once you got going you kind of got over it but I really enjoyed it and maybe sometime in the future I can see myself doing it again so if you ever get to go and I totally recommend it and yeah I just wanted to come back to give you a little recap to let you know that I had a blast and I'm alive and I will see you back at home That was my day I was very comfortable in my leggings it was a little chilly at times which is why I had on the jacket but otherwise it was so fun and a great experience so before I go I want to leave you with a love share so this is just like a little hack that I learned so this will be something for those that are green thumb people people who like to do plants and make things grow unlike myself so one thing that you can do is you can put a disposable diaper in the bottom of a planter to help retain moisture disposable diapers absorb water and they expand when wet so they become a reservoir for the plant when it's dry that is so cool to know i will never be able to use that tip because i do not grow anything green and in fact let me tell you one time when I was in high school I had a cactus we had to all bring in like a little plant to grow it I killed my cactus because I over watered it yep I sure did so anyway I learned and yeah I do have artificial plants but I don't have any real plants so anyway I just wanted to pass that tip along and thank you for coming with me I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.